In the next segment on matrix properties, which is coming up shortly, we'll cover enough theory to use matrices to solve some simple linear systems computationally, that is, using code. Before we do that, which feels a little bit like cheating to me, to understand how to solve linear systems more intimately, let's first solve some of them algebraically on paper. Substitution. The first algebraic method that we'll be covering for solving linear systems is useful whenever there's a variable in the system of equations with a coefficient of one. For example, when we're solving for x and y in the following system, where y is equal to 3x and negative 5x plus 2y is equal to 2. So here's a system of two equations, and this variable y in the first equation in the system has a coefficient of 1. Now you don't need to write the 1 when it's when it's a one, you just leave it as y, typically. In this situation, we can simply substitute y in the second equation with what y is equal to, which is 3x. So we just drop this 3x into the equation, and let's work through all of the details so that this is really easy and straightforward to understand. So here's our system of equations, the same one that we were looking at on the slide a second ago. And note that you can use this uh, curly bracket notation to indicate all of the equations that are in your system of equations. Taking the second equation in the system and then dropping 3x in place of y in it allows us to say, okay, negative 5x plus 6x, you know, multiplying 2 times 3x gives us 6x. So now we know negative 5x plus 6x is equal to 2. And this is pretty quick to solve because negative 5 plus 6 is equal to positive 1. So that leaves us just with x, a single x on the left-hand side of the equation. So we know now that x is equal to 2. In this system of equations where we only have two variables to solve for, x and y, once we have x, solving for y is a piece of cake. So we can take the first equation in the system, we can substitute two in for the x in three x, and three times two is equal to six. So now we know x is equal to two, y is equal to six. So we have solved for the unknowns in our system of linear equations. X is equal to two and y is equal to six. You can use this kind of uh, notation, coordinate notation, if you'd like to, to indicate those uh, variables. To give you some practice, using substitution to solve linear systems yourself, here are three questions that you can solve. So try solving on a piece of paper yourself for the unknowns in the following systems of equations. So there's three separate systems here. Solve for x and y in each one of them. And I'd recommend pausing the video right now because otherwise I'm about to show you the solutions. All right, and here are the solutions to the three questions. So if you had some difficulty with a third one, it's because there is no solution. And so this means that um, the lines in the linear system described by the two lines in the equation, they don't overlap. And so, yeah, it's impossible to solve for x and y. Cool, so that's substitution. The first algebraic method we'll cover for solving linear systems. Up next, we'll cover a second method called elimination.